Hello students, welcome back to lecture class 4 in the module 4 of chapter 2 joining process in the elements of mechanical engineering course. So in today's class we are going to discuss about the arc welding and electrodes used in the arc welding process. First we understand what is the arc welding. A person you can see here arc welding figure. So what is holding in his hand a gun is having an electrode. A spark, you can see the spark is a workpiece. It may be a circular shell, it may be a, a pipe like thing or a circular a wheel. A person is using is a light in the forehead and is having a goggles also. He, through the goggles, he has to see that. And he, have, uh, he has wear the gloves and apron. Apron is also a wear the apron because a safety precautions he has taken. So, arc welding means what? the arc welding so arc welding figure line diagram you can see here it is important from the exam point of view you have to draw this diagram so this is the work piece and here is the electrode holder and this is the uh, electrode is a consumable or a non consumable electrode consumable means it will consume you have to replace it by a new one non consumable means it will never consume like tungsten electrode it will never consume okay is the same electrode can be used for any number of work pieces so a consumable or non-consumable electrode you have to use. The electrode acts as a cathode. So this is electrode holder. That means in this electrode holder you have to place an electrode. So this is electrode cable. is power supply is AC power supply, DC power supply, ACR, DC power source you can use. The entire welding machine, the transformers are there. It supplies the electricity. And workpiece acts as an anode. Workpiece acts as a anode and direction of travel you can see here direction of travel that means we are taking the uh, electrode from from this direction right hand side to left hand side and this is a clamp that means workpiece must be clamped the workpiece will, it will uh, just it will sometimes it may uh, go away because of the movement of the uh, electrode so there is chances of sliding of workpiece so in order to uh, restrict the position of the workpiece we are using the clamp so once you fit the, into the clamp, workpiece will be fixed rigidly, it will never uh, slide. So this is a work cable. So now what is happening in this? The mechanism, how it happens, how welding takes place. Arc welding means what? The joining of welding, joining is joining process. It's a arc welding is a joining process where the two metals are joined by means of electricity, by electric arc struck between the two electrodes two electrodes means one is the electrode consumable electrode or non-consumable electrode another is the another electrode another polarity is the work piece so we have to stuck the electric arc between the two uh, electrodes the work piece and uh, electrode so here uh, how these things how will happen that is because of electricity you are going to get a, a arc that arc is having a high intensity of temperature and this high temperature will definitely will melt the metal, vaporize the metal, and after solidification, you will get a good, you will get a strong joint. You are going to get a, a strong joint. So that is the concept behind the arc welding. That is the concept behind the arc welding. So now the arc, you have to bring this electrode nearer to the workpiece. The gap between the electrode and the workpiece must be less not more so it is not like a 1 mm 2 mm so less than 0 0.5 mm less than 0 0.5 mm gap you have to maintain between the electrode and the workpiece so why means so in this gap only the ionization of electron takes place ionization that means the air medium what the air is there so this electron starts jumping from electrode this electrode the cathode to the anode okay when Electron starts jumping from cathode to anode, you will arc establishes because the flow of electrons is called what? Flow of electrons is electricity. As electricity uh, transforms from a cathode to anode, you are going to get a electric arc. A electric arc is having a high intensity of heat. Electric arc is having a high intensity of heat, and this heat will have a lot of temperature more than some 2000 degree Celsius temperature will be there. And this temperature is will melt the metal. This temperature will melt the metal. Okay. So after melting, so both the work pieces will melt, and this it will solidify. After solidification, it becomes a single joint. 
it becomes a two work pieces become a, a single joint so that is what the concept in the arc welding so you have to provide the electricity ac or dc power supply to this electrode so it will it will possess a cathode polarity a negatively charged one and this is a positively charged one work piece so you have to bring the electrode this consumable or non consumable electrode nearer to the work piece the work piece means here you have the gap two work pieces are there so where you want to join the two work pieces the gap between this electrodes and the work piece is 0 less than 0 0.5 mm so why that is less than 0 0.5 mm means if you maintain more the electric spark will not take place because because what the ionization of this air medium will not take place electrons electron will not jump from electrode to the work piece electrons will not jump okay higher the gap lower will be the electrical arc lower the gap what will happen see less still very very near very electrode is very very near to the work piece what will happen the electrode will stick to the work piece this concept you have to understand electrode will stick to the work piece and short circuit takes place short circuit takes place there is a there may be a damage for the work piece there may be damage for this electrode you have to fight with this again what will happen you have once it is sticking once the electrode is sticking with the work piece so again you have to take one more metal to remove the uh, work piece from the electrode because it is sticking it is sticking to the work piece that is why so short circuit you want to avoid the short short circuit means short circuit means short circuit means electric arc will not generate Short circuit means electric arc will not because this electrode is touching the totally it has touched the workpiece so it is sticking to the workpiece so therefore uh, so no arc will be establishing so what you should do you have to take one more metal piece and you have to stir heat to this workpiece so you have to separate them uh, separate them that is workpiece and the electrode you have to separate them that is why you have to heat it so this probably would will have a problems okay if a junior welder a person without having a skill will have such kind of problems so after uh, having so a good experience he will he will do the job perfectly so the short circuit will happen when the gap is very less very minimum so uh, gap is more means again the electric car will not uh, not established that is the problem so when you increase the gap uh, then electric arc will not be established there is no welding when you decrease the gap so there also the electric problems of short circuit is there so there also electric arc will not be established so the minimum gap between the workpiece and the uh, electrode you have to maintain that is 0 0.5 mm minimum you have to maintain then only this air medium air medium is the gap between the electrode and the workpiece it takes place the ionization takes place air medium ele electron starts jumping from electrode to this uh, workpiece uh, the flow of electrons constitutes a current this current uh, is like uh, in the form of an arc so this arc is uh, having high temperature high intensity of temperature this temperature is more, more than 2000 degrees celsius uh, it may be even 8 to 8 to 10000 degrees also will be there so this temperature uh, starts melting the metal and after melting the metal uh, vaporizes the metal then solidify after so vaporize, solidification takes place once it is solidifi uh, solidification takes place two work pieces will be can will get joint a strong joint will be there and that you can um, use it for further applications so this is what the electric arc welding concept so so now we are moving this electrode from the right hand side to the left hand side so this is the filler metal sometimes it's also called as a electrode that means so filler metal means what this it will consume so once electric arc is established it decreases it disintegrates disintegrates again you have to replace it by a new one so this it is melting the molten metal will fall in the gap molten metal will fall in the gap and you are getting a joint that means you are adding you are like a, you are just putting a cement so you, you have to imagine in between the two bricks gap is there no so that gap how we are filling the help of cement sand isn't it in the same way this filler rod once you melt it so this molten metal the molten filler rod it will fall in the gap and after that it is going to be filled up so now the combination will be the metal the joint combination will be having so this is one metal one composition work piece is another composition so this joint will have a new combination a joint will have a new combination of metal because work piece is let us say something like ferrous okay this is like a some other combination like aluminium or something like that 
so this joint is another combination the joint made up of work piece is another combination so that is why the joint strength you have to find out what is the joint strength of the this particular weld arc welding is more sir uh, yesterday i was telling about the uh, this one that is efficiency weld efficiency that is uh, so it is having some 300 mega pascal the joint is having 150 mega pascal the joint strength is 150 means 50% is efficiency it is then it is waste okay in some times it is not used okay so at least 80% 85% joint efficiency is required of course 100% is not, not able to achieve at least 80 to 90% joint efficiency is uh, uh, you have to achieve with the help of uh, uh, this one arc welding so nowadays uh, they are achieving okay more than 90% joint efficiency they are achieving okay by the proper use of uh, a techniques and also the filler rod so we are able to get the joint efficiency but even another problem is the uh, what is another problem so we are melting the metal so temperature increases on the temperature increases a chemical uh, the thermal distortion takes place is the uh, properties are changing grain structures will change grain sizes are going to change okay it will disturb the, the entire grain structure of the work piece that is also one of the problem uh, sometimes hot gases see hot gases will come out so once you melt these hot gases will escape to atmosphere from this so as it escapes it makes some holes so welding defects we will get to get the welding defects because it has to escape from the whole metal how it has to escape it has to make a, some hole and it has to go away to the atmosphere hot gases so that is why there will be welding defects also will be possible in this uh, welding next advantages of uh, arc welding it is simple welding equipment is a portable that means you can carry anywhere this arc welding uh, machine is an expensive power source relative in inexpensive equipment relatively is inexpensive welders uh, use standard domestic current so process is fast and reliable yes, of course is fast and reliable the short uh, learning curve short learning curve is there next equipment can be used for multiple functions electric arc is our form of 5000 degree celsius i was trying no? so more than 2000 so is 5000 degree celsius electric arc temperature use it for maintenance repair and field constructions you can use this arc welding process and this process also dominates the other welding process in maintenance and repair industry uh, used to weld ferrous and non ferrous metals like aluminum nickel also copper also you can you use this arc welding process it requires some uh, it eliminates skilled labor okay next disadvantages disadvantage is not clean enough for reactive metals such as aluminum and titanium Yeah, the deposition rate is limited because the electrode covering tends to overheat the fall off the electrode length is uh, or almost equal to 35 mm and requires electrode changing to low, lower the overall production rate next some defects are there some uh, the welding defects will be there in this like low holes the cracks will be there uh, weld times are rather slow compared to the uh, since the consumer electrodes must be frequently replaced Uh, applications of arc welding so it finds applications in building bridges construction ship building boiler uh, pressure and uh, and pressure industry pressure vessel industries fabrications large pipes uh, pen stocks okay in pen stocks we have heard the word about pen stock in the hydraulic power plant so uh, it is useful in that may uh, some maintenance work electrodes used in arc welding so it is very important electrodes used in the arc welding so we have consumable electrodes second one is non consumable electrode so consumable electrodes are three types coated electrodes plain or bare electrodes tubular electrodes and non consumable electrodes second is non consumable electrodes so consumable electrodes means that means you will exhaust you have to replace it always you have to replace it for every once it is complete means you have to take one new electrode how you were just refilling the cylinder like that you have to uh, replace it every every time new electrodes you have to purchase a box of electrodes okay is called consumable electrodes so it consumes and every time you have to change it for doing a welding process so here classified as a coated bare and tubular electrodes coated electrode means the coating will be there so most widely used electrodes in almost all the shops fabrication shops so it's a metallic wire it's a, a metallic wire you can see here is a metallic wire 
a coated electrode so we have we have coated here you see this some coatings are there and this it uh, coating is done by dipping the heated end of the metal rod in the constituents of flux various constituents like titanium oxide we have to use cellulose manganese oxide calcium carbonates uh, mica iron oxides etc are used as a flux material for coating that means we have to apply some coating so coating is coating is mon means what is a combination of titanium oxide cellulose manganese oxide calcium carbonate mica iron oxides etc are the flux materials for coating how to dip it the flux coated on the electrode performs the following functions so functions stabilizes the arc first one the prevents oxidation of molten metal it helps in removal of oxides and other undesirable substances present on the surface of the workpiece it chemically reacts with the oxides and forms the slag a slag floats on covers the top portion of the molten metal thereby preventing it from the rapid cooling so slag is going to come top of the molten metal and definitely it is going to prevent from rapid cooling also from the atmospheric gases it will not enter inside the weld pool it eliminates weld metal porosity and helps to produce the minimum spatter adjacent to the weld so this is all about this uh, coated electrodes so coated electrode means what is a you have to take a rod is a wire rod or a wire and you have to dip it in the flux so the flux is combination of what titanium oxide cellulose manganese oxide calcium carbonate mica iron oxide etc in that uh, we have to dip it okay it acts as a flux it acts as a, a flux for that once you, during melting you are during a welding process it is entirely th entire thing is going to uh, melt it and it uh, when it melts uh, with the joints the slag will form uh, formation of slag takes place that slag will come to the come to the above surface of the workpiece joint and it will prevent the oxidation the atmospheric gases will not enter into the slag it's a plain electrode or a bare electrode is wire it is a core wire so you can see this here it's a wire a copper wire a continuously you have to feed okay uncoated with the flux these electrodes do not prevent the oxidation of the weld okay because the bare it does not have any flux it is, so it, it does not prevent any oxidation of the weld and hence the joint obtained is weak the welding process that makes the use of bare electrode utilizes inert gases for shielding of weld metal we require some inert gases okay these things are going to be used in the uh, bare electrodes next tubular electrodes tubular electrodes you can see here tubular electrodes is one of tubular electrode uh, uh, hollow materials uh, containing a flux contains okay a hollow material will be there a hollow materials containing flux constitutes the inside and are used in flux cold arc welding process electrodes consist of wire made of a low carbon steel sheath surrounding a core flux and alloying the materials the compounds of materials uh, compounds contained in the wire perform the same function as the coated electrodes it's all about the coated electrodes next comes uh, non consumable electrodes non consumable electrodes that means it will not consume like you have to use uh, that is a tungsten a graphite all these things are electrodes which will not at all consume that you can use any for any number of uh, components so this completes the uh, arc welding process and different electrodes what we use in the arc welding so thank you for watching the video again we will discuss tungsten net gas welding and also metal nut gas welding in the next class thank you for watching the video